Good morning. I hope you're all well. So it's Thursday, the twenty second of August. This is another morning thing again. And I'm just gonna have my same breakfast I've had the last few days because this is my last yogurt I've got until I get some more at some point. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Measure out my milk. Not my milk. <laughs> Measure out my fruit. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so we've got plenty of chili so I'll probably have that for my lunch. Um, so yeah, feeling good. It's not very nice outside, but this means that we can stay cosy inside. Not like we're doing out at the moment whilst we're waiting for this uh, medication to settle. Obviously, I'll take my next one after I've had my breakfast. So yeah. Just want to say as well, thank you for all your kind comments, suggestions, tips on the last few videos. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm taking them on board. Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy that um, people are wanting to support me going through this. Um, I don't, I don't like saying journey because it sounds really like cheesy. Um, does it look a lot of Okay, what is it Anyway, I'm losing my marbles, though. Losing my marbles! Oh! There's one! Yes, I know the marble man's up there. Um, so, yeah. It's just really nice to see obviously people wanting to help and stick around for me going through this part of my weight loss journey. Um and I really appreciate it. So yeah. So I'm gonna try and get roughly the same measurements freight wise yesterday. Um so I'm just chopping up the blueberries. We'll have to go to like Tesco or wherever soon because I'm gonna run out of fruit and I think these apples, these apples are starting to get softer on. But um, the camera's just like flashing so I will put the calories for my breakfast at the bottom of the screen just in case I can't record another clip um before I change the battery. So yeah, breakfast is the same as yesterday um, and the calories will be on the screen. <laughs> Okay, so it's 10 past 12 now, so this is my lunch. It's a portion of chilli from yesterday. It's 15 grams of cheese in there, which I've mixed in. Um, and I've got one slice of Hovis wholemeal bread, which I've just toasted, and there's nothing on that to dip in it. So that's my lunch, and it's going to be 425 calories altogether. Okay, right, so it's now Friday, the 23rd of August. So... Last night we did have something from takeaway, but I just had the chicken cheese, so it's a boiled chicken with lettuce and cucumber and I had a few um, potato veggies. It was 740 calories, I did put it all in the app, I did measure it out. Um, and I'll ah. quickly pop behind so you can see the um, stats for yesterday. Still within everything, so even though I had something that wasn't obviously as good as home cooked, but um, I was fine with it. So I ended up on 1,518 calories yesterday, so still so wasn't that. I'm over on my protein, that's what the orange is, but if you don't want the protein, surely that's fine. Um, obviously I was Quite, obviously quite a lot of carbs yesterday so I won't have as many or try not to have as many today within everything else so yeah even though I did have something that was from a takeaway it was still within calories still within the stats so I'm fine with it it was just a just a one off um it is one week till we go on our mini break today, so I think I said when I first started doing this tracking for my holiday, I was going to weigh um, Monday, and 
potentially away Friday because that's when we go. So there may be two weigh-ins this week, but we shall see. So yeah, that was yesterday. I'll catch up with you and have some breakfast in a little bit because it's only half past seven. So yeah, this is going to be a two-day vlog and I'll catch you for breakfast very soon. So it's actually 20 past 8 and I'm actually making for it to eat because I feel really hungry this morning for some reason and we've just nicked up the corn shop and got some milk and I'm going to have some porridge um, so I've weighed out 55 grams of oats which I know is quite a lot but uh, I thought I'll just do that and then I've put in 168 grams of essential milk and I'm going to put some of this sweet freedom syrup in it and Sorry, I'm always worried that it's gonna like overflow. Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously I've confirmed the calories once I put the syrup in, but it's still gonna be a good breakfast, like as I was going with calories. So yeah, I'll back in just a sec once the porridge is ready. Put the syrup in and to co confirm the calories for two. So I'm back with my porridge. I won't show it since it's just plain like, plain oats. Um, I over, over squeezed on the sweet food and caramel syrup. I've put 22 grams in, which is fine. Obviously, it's got the carbs and everything, and sugar wise, it's still okay. So, but 22 grams of the sweet food and caramel syrup in. So, breakfast today is just 352 calories altogether. And I'm hoping because I've got like a bit more of oats and probably a normal portion, it should keep me full. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy because it's windy and horrible outside and it should keep me nice and cozy. So yeah, that's breakfast and it's gonna be 352 calories altogether. Hi guys, so it's just gone one o'clock. I actually had a lie down for a couple of hours because I felt like really, really tired. Um, so I fancied some scrambled egg on toast, so I made that. I've got three, I've used three eggs and 82 grams of skin milk, two slices of homeless hog of bread, 15 grams of the sugar, reduced sugar and salt ketchup, and this is 467 calories altogether. And yeah, nice simple lunch. And Adam's just gone out to work, so yeah, I'm gonna go and eat this and and a chill for a bit. So that's my lunch, 467 calories altogether. So okay, guys, so it's just come up to quarter past five, so this is gonna be my tea. Adam is still out working, so it's just me and Louis. Louis and Adam had a hot lunch earlier while I was having my nap. So Louis is having what he'd have for his lunch for his tea, so he's currently munching on that. So I've got my last portion of chili with 15 grams of cathedral butter cheese on, one slice of homeless homo bread, um, to dip and after that this is going to be like I said I'm just having like kind of one kind of snack either after the tea or in the evening as like a dessert and then that's it I literally don't have anything else after that besides my drink so an apple which weighed 142 grams and a kavag yogurt so the apple and kavag yogurt come to 150 calories and my tea tonight is just 425 calories altogether. Oops. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to have food wise. I'll come back to you shortly to end the video. Bye guys. So, as I said, come back to end the video. So, I've got my apple and my yogurt to have. So, oh God, that's not my after I've had these, I will be ending the day on 1400 calories exactly. So 446 left. And as for stats, way under again. So it just goes to show, hope you can see that. Let me use my hand. Hopefully you can see. All the stats are low apart from protein, but obviously it's good to have protein. Um, so yeah. Um, but like I said earlier, I had like a two hour nap. Um, and I don't know if it's because obviously the body is 
obviously feeling a bit more tired where it's not having as much food. But today I'm having food um, that's for my calories and within my daily stats. I still have 32 grams of carbs left if I did want anything later, but obviously I'm not trying not to because like the nurse told me just to try and have three meals a day. And I'm counting this as a dessert, so technically that's a meal. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if it's just my body. Um, still getting used to obviously not having as many calories. Obviously the medication itself I think can make you tired. Um, thankfully my stomach has settled, so I'm hoping that my body has gotten used to having something different in this system. Um, and I don't think I've drunk enough today. I'm only just over halfway through my Miyoki cup, which holds a litre. So I probably need to drink a bit more. Um, but overall, I'm happy with um, everything that I've eat, eaten. See all like all right um, calorie sizes. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling okay. Um, those are my Saturday. <laughs> so I cut this is because it's the bank holiday weekend that one's thrown out and normally the private customer that Adam is doing a job for today, he usually doesn't ask him to do jobs on a Friday. Plus it's the summer holidays and stuff, so yeah. I do feel like I'm not as bloated as well, so hopefully that will reflect on the scales on Monday. And like I said, I might do two weigh-ins this week, just so I know where I am when we go away. We'll see, I'm going to keep two meals and things like that when we're there. Um, so yeah, from, I'll say from Thursday, you won't have any vlogs until like middle of next week. Um, because obviously I want to try and vlog a little bit of the holiday. But um, yeah, so overall, feeling good. I'm going to have this because I've, I've only, after this apple, I've had 3.7 portions of fruit and veg. So not as much as yes, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Oh, my phone wants to update. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday I had 3.7 as well. It was Wednesday where I had over seven portions of fruit and veg. But, um... Yeah, overall, I'm feeling good. Um, just not doing as much at the moment while I'm still waiting for medication to still settle. I don't want to do too much and I feel like absolutely knackered. So I think when Louis goes back to school is when I'm going to start doing like, my exercise properly and get to a, back into a routine. Because I have got a... I purchased a leisure card. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I purchased a leisure card um, for my local leisure centre. You can use it in any of the Wiltshire council leisure centres. And it just gives you discount on pay-as-you-go, like, um, things. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and go swimming, like, twice a week. And it's going to be, I think it'll be just under a fiver each time. So um, there's that. So I'm going to attempt, well I'm not going to attempt, I'm going to get into a routine of doing exercise and then I want to try and do my hoop again, I think that's been neglected. And then once I've gotten used to getting into a routine, I will get back to doing like my walking workouts when it gets colder um, and things like that. So we've got a plan. Um, so yeah. Um, what else I sort of going to say? No, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. If you are brand new, hello and welcome. Please hit that subscribe button as I'm trying my hardest to grow my channel. And I'm back tomorrow with another what I eat today. Following calorie counting and monitoring my carbs. Take care. Bye.